What up YouTube, Snipes here with TKO Gaming and we are here with level 32 Prison of Elders round 5 The Boss coming up. We got the modifier which is the juggler. As you guys see this is how the format is for all levels of Prison of Elders and we are facing the one and only Hawaiian Valis Tark or something. I don't know who he is but we're about to kick his ass and I'm going to show you guys the best way to do this, in my opinion, what characters you should use, how you should approach this. Uh, like, you know, everyone knows, this new Prison of Elders is, in a sense, uh, like horde mode, you could say. Um, it does have an ending, five rounds for most. Uh, and for this boss, he has a very unique characteristic. He changes from having a solar shield to an arc shield so it's appropriate for you to have the best arc and solar weapons obviously 365 galley as you guys will see later on we melt him with the galley and then the respective arc and solar weapons like the Feybringer or whatever else to bring that shield down so he can actually take real damage now you guys um, the grind is so real the hype is so real for house of wolves um everyone is just grinding all day as you guys i've never seen so many friends online i had 105 friends online playing destiny today it was absolutely insane to just see that number it was really cool because this game has something new and we're all back on the grind the destiny grind the very well-known destiny grind uh, i've been streaming all morning long uh would love for you guys to come check it out um the links are in the description below check it out come hit the follow button you don't have to stay for long just come say hi uh the ps4 giveaway is still intact so just as long as you're a subscriber to my youtube come over follow twitch you're in the running as soon as we hit 10k subs on youtube i will be giving that playstation 4 out because it is just sitting there collecting dust now let me talk to you guys real quick about the character choices personally i think titans are the most important thing for prison of elders now as you guys can see i have this invisibility perk right as a hunter blade dancer it is also very very crucial in my opinion to have that so and the fact that you know blade dancers are just all arc my grenades can do help a lot um, all, you know all the other things that I do can help a lot as well But invisibility comes so clutch guys because it can get you out of sticky situation Invisibility I would prefer more than self res right now warlocks are on the bottom of my uh, Prison of elders list now. I know that that doesn't mean that they suck warlocks are awesome. They have Arguably the best characteristics in this game when it comes to PvE and having a self res is absolutely awesome. I agree. But in this case, when you self res, you're going to have such a crap ton amount of enemies around you. It's going to be so difficult for you to even get away to then revive your teammates. That's why I think invisibility is so crucial, even though sometimes when I'm invisible, these enemies still see me, which is weird. But I think that invisibility will really you know clutch it for you and obviously having a titan as you guys know earlier rounds there's like zones that you have to get on or mines that you have to destroy and dismantle or whatnot and it really really helps to have a titan that knows what he's doing as a defender class and i will be making videos about level 34 prison of elders and level 35 prison of elders and i'll go more into detail about each class's setup that i would prefer uh, but for now i mean it's pretty straightforward uh, we are running two hunters and one titan. I would personally, my ideal setup would be one hunter and two titans or just say F it and all three titans because I think the titan bubble comes so clutch and especially if you have the Helm of Saint 14, it is absolutely awesome guys. But anyways, as you guys know, the level 32 strike will, after you complete it, give you an armor core for the week. It is so awesome because then that means you can be a level 33 in this game very, very easily. Uh, and this is pretty much how you do it is one, you ascend one of your exotic armor pieces to light level 42. Uh, and all you need is a shard and glimmer for that. And then you can come over here, get the light 32 or level 32 prison of elders done. 
go back into this room you will and you know the treasure loot downstairs you will get uh, armor core then you take that to the uh valix varix i don't remember his name but the prison of elders dude on the queen tower or the reef the reef tower you go there and you turn in the armor core to get the piece of gauntlet um which is the level 42 gauntlet which is freaking awesome because then you could be a level 33 so currently in this game i am a level 33 guys very easy to get there i hope you guys get there and then now you drop down to the aladdin genie cave room open up your two mini chests and hopefully you get something good we got the armor core right there and then we if you want to spend a key you can open this personally guys i've opened it for both 28 and uh 32 just because I want to, you know, the grind is real. I'll be grinding for more treasure keys, and I have videos on how to do that very effectively on my channel. But the thing is, is that you want to save those treasure keys. They're very hard to drop, and you want to save them for level 34 and 35 Prison of Elders. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not become a family member of TKO Gaming, beatbox that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good luck on all your RNG loot drops. Peace!